take a look at section 1.7. It talks about uh, the different errors and warnings you'll get when uh, compiling programs and running code. Uh, it's really common to get mistakes uh, when programming. All programmers make mistakes. And we try to set up systems so we catch those errors and fix them, but sometimes they're challenging. Um, one time, one thing to look at is when you're finding uh, mistakes, try to look at it kind of as a challenge. Can you fix these errors? I'm going to get rid of the index on the left and start going through this. Um, so again, compilers that translate code uh, into machine language are, are very picky and want things a certain way. They'll try to give you nice warnings when they find an error. So like, for example, here we've got a system that out that print statement. Uh, and at the end, there should be a semicolon, but there isn't. And so there are warning years is in traffic.java uh, for uh, semicolon expected here. And it tries to put a little indicator here where it thinks the semicolon should be. So that's relatively helpful, but that's not always the case. Um, sometimes you'll have uh, errors that are are not as useful. So first activity, go through here and just see if you can identify errors. So I read through this and I, uh, it might look fine. So I say no errors. And then, oh, I realize, yes, there should be a semicolon. There is an error there. <clears throat> so go through these. Uh, try to guess. See if you can uh, get used. To, you need to kind of train yourself to look for errors. Look for certain things. Uh, we are always uh, using system.out.print or print line, semicolons at the end, watch where the quote, double quotes begin and end, things like that, uh, parentheses around this. So see if you can catch these errors. Uh, it's good practice. To try to see if you can grab these errors. Um, Okay, and here's another activity you can do again. It's just good practice to look for errors. So look at each statement in quotes. I mean, it, it's in a little dotted box. And see if you see an error in that statement. If so, click on it. So it says int triangle. And again, no semicolon, so I'm clicking on that. Uh, and it should tell me statement uh, is missing a semicolon, yes. Um, and then try these other ones. Now, this one isn't the syntax there. This is all correct. See if you can go through these, click on them, and see if you can spot, um, you know, do some more practice looking for syntax errors. Um, then we talk about some examples of compiling and uh, errors that are harder to predict, uh, misleading error statements and things like that. So, like, here that's suggesting maybe you need a semicolon in here. Uh, but really, you're missing parentheses. Uh, so don't uh, just ra uh, blindly do whatever the compiler suggests. Uh, it's only right about half the time, unfortunately. Um, now, one thing you may want to do now, this is some examples of this, but we're going to be using the BlueJ compiler. So we can look at some of these examples in the BlueJ compiler and see what errors they have. So if you open up the Chapter 1 project in BlueJ, um, I've copied and pasted a number of these examples. So this traffic example that's over here, this traffic class is actually here. And you can see there's a little explanation point saying that BlueJ thinks there's an error in it. So if I open this up uh, and hit compile, uh, it'll highlight the statement, uh, put a little red dot here. And again, it's saying semicolon expected here. This is actually the first one. Uh, comes from this first example. So it's very similar to what, what, what the error message here is, but slightly different. Now if I change this, and this is not bad to do, sometimes just introduce different errors and see what kind of uh, compiling errors you'll get uh, for your work. So now if I switch this around and simply get rid of the parentheses, what, what is the error I get? So try to compile that again. And it gets a, a not a statement error here. Uh, so again, not that helpful of a state of uh, error, but it does give me a, a different error than you would expect. So compile that, and then hopefully you'll get this to class compiled no syntax errors. Then when I go back to BlueJ, should show it uh, compiled. Uh, so an empty box, as long as I'm not clicked on it. Uh, and so we'll look at some of these other errors in just a sec. Um, 
So again, you can go through here. It talks about why sometimes the compiler gives you an error at a later line. So the compiler will go through processing line by line, and it won't notice an error till later. Um, and it won't actually display the error till maybe line five, where the real error was earlier. So uh, it is possible for errors to be in, in lines earlier and sometimes even way up the start of a program. Uh, and the compiler won't won't give you an error until later. So don't always trust the line number. Uh, and it is not uncommon for it to be specifically the line right before. So if it says line five, yeah, certainly look at line four also. And again, sometimes earlier. So again, more practice here. If the compiler says a error exists on line five, that line must have the error. So we know that it's false. So again, try to try to go through this review. Um, now, sometimes you get a whole bunch of errors. Uh, try focusing on the first error message and ignore the rest of the error messages. Um, now, this is true of some compilers. So, example in this beans in the jar example, when we run it, it's going to generate a whole bunch of errors. Uh, here, this. Uh, there's an error when we declare this variable, and then everywhere we use that variable later on, there's a new error where it's having troubles understanding things. Uh, so you might get a whole sequence of errors. It's not uncommon for, you know, to see 100 errors sometimes. But we're using the BlueJ compiler, and that tends to show you just one error at the time because it's a, such a common problem. Um, so if I do this beans in the jar example from the text and I hit compile, uh, it's only going to show me the first error up here. It may not always be right. Uh, like it says, semicolon expected. We really need a equals in here. Uh, but again, it'll just go line by line uh, and one error at a time. Uh, so with our compiler, it's not as much of a problem uh, because BlueJ will only show you the top error that it's getting. Uh, so go through this. Um, I'll read through these example different syntax errors, and then we get into this logic errors. So sometimes your compiler, I mean your program will compile fine and run, but won't produce the right results. So this is a program that's supposed to calculate how many uh, beans you have, like jelly beans in different jars. So if you have three jars and each uh, jar is 500 beans, uh, we should multiply it three times 500 uh, to get the results. Um, but when we run this, um, compiles fine and runs perfectly fine. Oh, we did fine. But it says uh, 500 beans in three jars yields total beans total. Uh, so there's a syntax error here. Um, so I read through uh, int number of beans is 500, number of jars is three, total beans starts off as zero. It prints number of beans. So this is a variable. So it'll print off 500 beans in, so it says 500 beans in, and it prints off number of jars, and it says three jars yields, and it does this calculation, total beans equals number of beans times number of jars. So it calculates the total beans, but now it prints off total beans total, but this is in quotes, so we want it to print off the actual result, the variable. So when we print off the value of a variable, we don't put it in quotes, right? So I say total beans total. Now if I run it, it'll give this result. Now I can also look up here. They introduced a different kind of uh, error. Here they did number of beans plus number of jars. So if I put that in here, uh, if I were to accidentally have put plus instead of multiply, uh, the star for multiply, it, again, Runs, compiles fine, runs 500 beans in three jars, yields 503 total. So don't blindly trust the results. We need to make sure we write tests, and we'll talk more about testing later on, uh, ways to test out our program so it actually produces the right results. Uh, so we need to do some testing here. So again, uh, if your program just runs, don't trust it. Uh, check the results. Um, cute little historical uh, thing about this moth. Uh, one of the first uh, early computers uh, add actually mechanical relays, little switches, the mechanical switches that flip-flop one way. And then 
one point the engineers came in and this pro computer wasn't working and so they found this moth uh stuck in one of the relays uh this was uh, one of the first programming teams was led by a uh, uh, grace hopper one of the first uh, and well best known programmers out there uh there's a huge conference uh every year in her honor or at least named after her. uh it sold out this year uh and it's a great conference to go to the grace hopper celebration of women in computing um Okay, so the compiler has some other warnings and some other information here. So again, uh, just go through this, see if uh, you can, uh, if you read carefully and you can answer these results. Now there's a couple more challenge activities down here. Uh, these are kind of fun to do. Uh, it says read three, these four statements and type them into your program down here. Um, you can type them in or you can just copy and paste them. I like the copy paste route here and then try to compile them. Um, first go through and see if you can see the errors. So I system that out, that print line predictions are hard. That one looks good. Uh, system that print, I should say, oh, I can see, uh, I can actually see the coloring here is blue, but here it's not. And I can see, oh, it's missing a semi uh, double quote there. So I can fix that. And then try to run it, and it'll tell you where the errors are that you missed. See if you can get the right errors. So right away, and again, sometimes these are hard to tile. It, it says um, method print L cannot find symbol. Not a very useful error in line eight of our program here. So line eight. Uh, but if we look here, I realize that print L isn't a command. It should be print line. So again, try to see if you can find all the errors. It's a fun challenge in these two challenge activities.